One year ago, the world's eyes were glued on the Vatican. The Sede Vacante produced lasting images, like Benedict XVI leaving the Vatican by helicopter. But behind the impressive images, the men and women of the Vatican Television Center worked in overdrive. After all, it was their responsibility to bring viewers around the world into the middle of the action. That proved challenging, but not impossible. What people didn't see were the rehearsals beforehand, especially for the start of the conclave. For that event, we directly asked the master of ceremonies to rehearse, to run through it, because it's such a solemn event, so sacred that we wanted to employ all our available technology to emphasize that the Holy Spirit was the real protagonist at that moment. To mark his one-year anniversary, the Vatican Television Center compiled a 40-minute documentary of Pope Francis. It pieces together the most memorable images of his pontificate, including the trademark moment when he first stepped out into the balcony and asked the world to pray for him. But the documentary also features never-before-seen footage of his first year as Pope. For example, we included images of Pope Francis seated at the cockpit during his flight to Rio. Also the first moments after his election, while still inside the Sistine Chapel, and when he prayed at the Pauline Chapel before stepping out in the balcony. A full year later, Pope Francis has constantly kept the world's attention and captured headlines with his approach. In the meantime, workers at the television center are looking ahead and preparing for another huge production, the canonizations of John Paul II and John XXIII. For months we've been looking into this great moment. We're trying to figure out how we can involve our technology partners. What we do know is that our center will direct and produce the event, so all the international networks will carry our signal. Despite the magnitude of the canonization ceremony, the Vatican Television Center is up to the task. The Sede Vacante and the Conclave prove they have the skill and the know-how. Come April, the world's eyes will be on the Vatican, and once again, it's the role of the Vatican Television Center to take them there.